uh what's going on y'all so today i wanted to talk about this nigga right um <laughs> so if you haven't heard already uh six nine is basically flopping you know what i'm saying uh and that's kind of the reason why <laughs> that's kind of the reason why i'm smiling and laughing right now because it's like when you see a person talk so much shit about being the shit and then you see them you know fumble it, it comes off as a little funny you know what i'm saying because you supposed to be we looking at you like damn i thought you were supposed to be the man i thought you were supposed to be hot shit but apparently not. So as you know, Six Nine just dropped an album, <laughs> and I gotta say, uh, it was not. It was. It wasn't really good. Not. I'm not here now. Listen, I'm not here to hate. I'm not here to bash. I'm not here to attack anybody. I'm not here to send anybody to attack anybody. Make anybody feel any type of way. I just want to give you my opinion, as I always do. You know what I'm saying? And this is some crazy ass shit. <laughs> and it's not that crazy because I'm going to get into it in a minute, but it's a it's a it's a difference between making actually good fucking music and just being a nigga who's hot for the moment. There's a huge difference between that. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm trying to say is bro this is the type of person, <clears throat> excuse me, who hides behind, you know, all these games and all this and that, who cheats the system. We already know what's up with you. And you just think you finna come out and just, just, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, just be hot. Now, I'm gonna go off on this, right? The reason why I just said what I just said is the simple fact because, first of all, at first, he was only doing sales because of his merch and they were counted as up until that up until this point i believe or before this point uh as actual sales but that's not the case anymore you can put merch in there all you want it won't count they will not allow it so that's one thing another thing is the simple fact that he's not the music is not fucking it's not even really that good I would say at least the old shit that you dropped, that was something. That that was something. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, <clears throat> Six Nine is a nigga who is only good for the hype. Is only good for you know what I'm saying. When it comes to something you want to turn up real quick, go ahead and throw them on. You know what I'm saying? But anything else other than that, I don't know. I would say on the tape, bro. On the tape specifically, the tape. He did better on um, he did better on the Spanish songs than he did on the actual uh, regular songs that he makes, and I'm just keeping it a hundred. He really did. He did better on the Spanish songs than any of the other songs that uh, were dropped. Now, people are saying people like well, specifically DJ Academics is you know going off on a little rant, saying why uh, he's not doing these numbers and this and that. You know how he does. He's you know the the the, the the, the dick beater, you know what I'm saying? He loves 6 ix 9 you know what I'm saying? But my thing is, uh, what he was saying was, he's being blackballed. Oh, he's this, he's that. And my thing is, bro, he did it to himself. Even if he is getting blackballed, getting this, getting that, he did it to himself. He is no... He's not the fucking victim here. He's not the victim. And it's funny because whenever his name is brought up, whenever 6 ix name is brought up, it's always a, uh, you know, rebuttal. It's always a little game, a little joke he has to throw out of. Ever since this surfaced, we haven't heard a word from him. We haven't heard a word from him. The whole internet is laughing. Even Trippy Red, and you know he hasn't even been responding to this nigga. Even Trippy Red is laughing. 
Bro, all I'm saying is, bro. <laughs> oh, man. You can have all the women, all the fame, all this, all that. At the end of the day, bro, there's a lot of things that matter way more than that, which is actually making good music, actually having a, you know, an upstanding brand, an upstanding uh, image amongst the people, you know, as if, as in, I love the, I love the people that support me and the people that support me love me as well. Rappers love me and I love them as now. I'm not, I'm not saying like it has to be everybody, but in this case, don't nobody fuck with him. He knows that. That's why he does the shit that he does and not give a fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Which leads on to this. It's honestly, I, I don't know, bro. I honestly thought that it was going to be better than what it was. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not to say I had high hopes because then again, it is 6ix9ine. There is no real versatility besides the rapping and, you know, the language switching with the with the Spanish music, I haven't seen really anything else. You know what I'm saying? Did a little bit of singing, but that's all you really see. There's no there's no flavor thrown in it. You know what I mean? And you would think, with all the views, with all the controversy, that this album would do better than what it did. And it did it. <laughs> Now, I don't want to make this video seem like I'm just I'm just revolving over the fact that he failed because he sold 50K, which is better than, you know, uh, what anybody else has done. I Recently, I just found out that uh, what's his name? Quando Rondo sold about, what, 3,500 units, which is oof. that's that's heartbreaking. You know what I'm saying? Don't let, I, that's a whole nother subject. You know what I'm saying? Simple fact that he even signed with young boy. That shouldn't even be allowed. Um, then you have people like Smoke Perp, who I thought album was going to do at least, you know, at least 75K, 60K. You know what I'm saying? The normal. But that ended up doing about 5K. Uh, I can definitely give it to him that he did sell his 50K. You know what I'm saying? He still made his money at the end of the day. But it's like, damn. You can't be talking shit no more. You cannot be talking shit anymore. There is none of that shit. There is none of that. So all this trying to compete with a nigga, trying to show a nigga oh, I, who at the billboards and this and that. Yeah, your song might end up up there. But at the end of the day, bro, there's a lot of shit built up against you that that's real. That motherfuckers like me are not going to fuck with you all the way. Are not going to fuck with you at all. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, that's the, hey, hey. That, that's all I had to say for today, man. Uh, apparently, they're not accepting uh, the, the whole reason why <clears throat> he wasn't set to do as good as he did was mostly because of the uh, the merch. They cut the merch. The merch is no longer considered, uh, you know, a part of album sales. And I don't know, maybe there's something more to it besides that. But as far as I'm concerned, that's all I know. But that's all I had to say for today, man. I am out.